Here's what to do when you got five minutes to edit a photo. Hey guys, welcome to Florin. My name's Aaron Nace. You can find me on Twitter at AKNazer. Today, I've got five minutes to edit this photo by Alexander. He won our contest last week. We have a great photo and I'm just gonna show you guys what you can do to enhance this photo in just five minutes. So I've got a timer. We're gonna go ahead and get into it. If you've got five minutes of your life, set them aside because you're about to learn some awesomeness and go along for a wild ride along the way. So here we go. We've got our, our timer here and this is our image by Alexander. As soon as it hits start, I am gonna go for it. All right. Um, oh, by the way, a little bit of disclaimer. I'm probably going to explain things a little bit less than normal today because we're on a time rush. All right, here we go. Start. All right, so our image. First thing I'm going to do is take care of our highlights and our shadows. So I'm going to grab an adjustment layer. We're going to go down to curves. I'm going to click on my midpoint and drag that down right to about there. And that's going to take care of any blown out areas that I've got. Now I'm going to go to image and I'm going to go down to apply image. I'm going to choose invert to uncheck that. We're going to choose merge RGB multiply in at 100%. Okay, that's going to take care of our highlights where they were just overexposed just a little bit. Now we're going to take care of our shadows. We're going to go to curves. I'm going to bring those up a little bit. There we go. That looks pretty good. I'm going to bring our blues up a tiny bit because we've got blues in our shadows. We've got greens and I'm going to bring those up a tiny bit as well. There we are as well. Now I'm going to go up to image and we're going to go down to apply image. I'm going to click on the invert now and that's going to affect my shadows instead of my highlights. So we can see those two changes. We've already relatively well fixed our exposure. Now I'm going to go down here and go to a hue saturation adjustment layer. What we're going to do is I'm going to choose my blues. So we're going to choose over here, get my eyedropper and actually choose these blues. I'm going to pull the lightness down and pull the saturation up. We're also going to change this blue just a little bit towards green and that's just going to give it a little bit more of that editorial look. So we'll see that before and after right there. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take care of our skin. So we're going to take a brush tool. We're going to use a 10% flow and I'm going to start sampling here in our skin. There we go. And we're just going to do like a minor retouch. Now this is something that you can do as long as you're painting with like a five or 10% flow, you're totally cool here. You're not going to be destroying a ton of skin texture or anything like that. I'll turn the before on after before and after on in just a second here. There we go. Looking good. Even areas that are a little bit unsmooth like that, you can go ahead and bring them all together. Now what I'm looking for to do here is basically take my light areas and my dark areas and kind of blend them together. So we have something that's just looks and comes across a little bit more even rather than something that's a little bit uh, blotchy looking. This is going to take the majority of our time here, but not long enough to where we pass our five minute mark. All right, and we're almost already there. So we're going to focus in the highlight areas here. Anything that basically comes across as a little bit of a blotchy area. There's our before and our after. We can see it's just a lot more smooth in the after. Looks like it's just a little bit more of a refined portrait and our skin texture. Let's just zoom in. You can see it's still there for the most part because what we're doing is painting a very little amount. If you need to lower your opacity, you can do that as well, but not a big deal. Next thing I want to do, let's go to a curves adjustment layer. I'm going to click over here in our blue channel, pull that up a bit. I'm going to go to our red green channel and I'm going to pull that up as well. I'm going to hit command I, which is going to invert our layer mask. And then we're going to go ahead and paint in this right there in his eyes. You usually don't want to use just blue if you're going to be doing this. Be sure you put a little bit of green in there too because people's eyes are bluish green. They're usually not just blue. There we go. We've got a little bit more color there in his eyes. Looking good. Next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go up to our hue saturation, down to our hue saturation, and we're just going to lower our saturation just a little bit. There we go. That's looking a little bit better, a little bit more on the editorial side of things. Next thing we're going to do, I'm going to saturate or I'm going to sharpen this image. So I'm going to create a new layer, shift option command N, shift option command E, shift option command U to desaturate that. We're going to get a filter, other, and here to high pass. Before I do, I'm actually going to change this to overlay, filter, other, and then high pass. Now we're just going to choose a high pass filter. That looks pretty good, just in a couple of the areas. There we go. It's too harsh on most of it, but his eyes and his lips and things like that. So we're going to put a layer mask on there. We're going to make that layer mask black. And then I'm going to paint white here on his eyes. And this is just going to help these couple of areas stand out just a little bit more. There we have it. Those areas are nice, standing out nice and well now. Next, we're going to go down to our uh, levels adjustment layer. What we're going to do is I'm going to pull our, go to our blue channel. We're going to put a little bit of blues in there and I'm going to pull some yellows from our highlights. This is just going to give us a slight duo tone and kind of fix our exposure. There we go, just a little bit. We're going to go to our green channels and our green channel. I'm going to pull in a little bit from the top. We're just going to pull in a tiny bit of magenta 
and there's where well that's going to warm it's going to give a little bit more of a red color back to his skin next we're going to do is i'm going to grab a new layer and i'm just going to grab a brush tool and kind of paint away some of these details here like the button in there so just so we don't focus on some of those areas next we're going to grab a curve adjustment layer i'm just going to darken this area down there we go right up at the very top there we're going to grab a brush tool focus on using a large brush and just paint that down just a little bit as well as the same down there on the bottom we got 19 seconds left i'm going to shift click all these and hit command g and i'm done i'm 15 seconds ahead of time i can stop this so let's look at what we got <laughs> here's our before and after that was a pretty quick five minutes all right there's our before we can see we fixed our exposure here with the shot with the highlights and with the shadows there's our after so we had a little bit of an exposure issue here in the before with our highlights basically they're a little bit blown out and our shadows just a little bit too dark as well as the color is not looking incredibly great and his skin is coming off a little bit blotchy and we did some color work as well so we can see the before and the after before it's already a great image but i think the after just looks like a little bit more of that like editorial look something you might see in uh in a like a, a watch ad or something like that in a vogue so not a whole huge lot of a change but i think the after definitely it draws us into our subject his skin is nice and clear and uh, we're looking directly there into his eyes getting rid of things like buttons and whatnot is just going to help you draw right into your subject as well so very Cool guys, all that you can do in just five minutes. So a lot of this stuff seems like we're gonna be doing a lot of things here on Fluent where it's like do this step and that step and that step. But when you combine them together, you can see you can do a heck of a lot in not a lot of time. And that's what today's episode is all about. I wanna see your images. If you guys got an image and you wanna edit it in just five minutes, follow some of these steps, follow some of the other things you learned on Fluent. I'd love to see them. Leave them in a the comment down below. Thanks so much for watching Fluent guys. We'll learn you later. Bye everyone. Ten seconds to spare, like a baller.